Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, man. Oh, people we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f*** out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle.
While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark is a good weapon they know. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there? Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. <sighs> yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. This ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Why'd you do that? So I can identify. 
Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off the gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey.
Vulnerable by serious injuries, the shark must exercise caution as she renews her attack. Hunting of Fawtix Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
takes a shark to catch a catfish, or just a reckless small town yokel out on a noodling weekend. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite.
400 million years of evolution, and yet the shark is eaten by someone's future luggage. A peculiar biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Shark proves herself an exotic but murderous beauty.
Sharks can detect odor corridors, miles-long scent trails spread by ocean currents. Shark's palate's more refined. They prepare their turtle meat with just a splash of Amontillado. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
but the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass.
A shark will hurl itself at anything that floats. Conventional apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible.
albino creatures are vulnerable to the growing demand for male enhancement products derived from rare creatures. Albino animals are often vulnerable to poachers looking to sell exotic pets to Ukrainian oligarchs.
Contrary to urban legend, the bull shark cannot live out of water for hours at a time. Human victims serve as a vividly gruesome reminder to beware of sharks. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers.
The big fish is in quite a predicament. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Intensive shark hunt is now underway. The scourge of the swampland, Bayou Willie. Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from buoyant. Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakiwaka.
If this person is enterprising, this shark's squalene oil can be sold for cosmetics, health products, or pharmaceutical preparations. Any body of water saturated with sewage or slaughterhouse wastes can be quite appealing to sharks. While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call. 